muster in full swing, the rain continues to fall, but it's not enough to dampen the spirits of volunteers and organisers working behind the scenes. Rolling with the muster 2007, mate. Tell us where we're up to. It's just rolling a bit different. but Rolling uh, different. So it's still rolling, it's anyway. It's rolling along, yeah. We've had to shift things around a little bit, but uh, we're getting the artists in on uh, forward on buses. Never happened before. Now, this 26 is the wettest years. it's ever been. Wettest it's ever been. How's the overall site? Like, is it, is it pretty muddy? And... Oh, it's wet, but I think that's all part of the muster and the, I think the paper. Part of the experience. Yeah. There's always a plan B. You know, there's nothing you can do. The creeks are up, the creeks are up. You just organise around it. And, you know, people are very understanding. They know that. We're doing the best we can. The muster's never that easy weather-wise. It's, all it's always either really dry or wet or something. It's part of the whole experience, really. Another person refusing to let the weather rain on her parade is Jane Denham. Jane's muster debut has been an overwhelming success, capping off a fantastic 12 months. Jane, tell us about the journey, mate, getting to this first record. Well, I... Um... I wrote some songs for my dad for Christmas a couple of years ago. I just decided to get together with my songwriting friends and write some country music and um, more for myself than anything else. She's a queen of the she I wanted to write songs that I liked and that, you know, and that was it. To be honest, I, I kind of thought if I can write half a dozen songs, go to Tamworth, busk, Take the caravan. So what? You actually went on the side of the street and like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was busking. Um, How long ago? Three years ago three at years Peel ago. Street. Yeah. How does it get to from that to standing next to your own box of records at the Gimpy <laughs> Master? Sure. Well, basically, the demo that I did, um, John Kane and Mark Wormsley, my producers, got a hold of that and contacted me and said, "Look, we want to meet with you." We hit it off straight away, which was just fantastic. And yep. they said, "Let's do an album." But I never wanted to do an album. Um, that ended up being, you know, a coffee coaster. I thought, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it full on and it's yeah. going to be me and I'm not going to, you know, no be lines. afraid of that. So this is me on a disc. That's great. <laughs> yeah, Steve, I think it's, it's really the path that I'm meant to be on and I'm really happy to be on it. So hopefully this is just the start of, you know, many albums yeah. and many songs that come from hair, brain ideas. And, we'll be standing yeah. around talking about your box set in a few years. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> This isn't too bad, Shay Fisher. No, no. Great place. Gimpy anyway, out of the rain, not in a tent. It's yeah, rain. everyone else out there in tents and you're just rolling oh, up there in here five star. my life. <laughs> Shay, to watch you on stage performing as an attractive young lady in front of thousands of adoring fans, a lot of them wouldn't realise the upbringing you had. Oh, I guess you could say that, Steve. Yeah, no, um, basically from the time I was born, I've been riding horses and travelling around Australia. For the first four years of my life, we just travelled Australia. My dad and mum were both competing in the rodeo circuit. And then, yeah, well, I mean, when I was three, I was riding horses and competing in rodeo. Well, look at our girl ride. She is One of my first bowers when I was seven, and then an Australian title when I was nine. And it was great because I had such good people to learn from mum and dad. And then at one point in my life, I thought, hey, Actually, the boys were on for their money, and I asked Dad, I said, Dad, can I actually ride the Junior Bulls? And he's, yeah, yeah, go for it, Mum. What did, what did you think when Shay first asked that you <laughs> want to be a bull rider, Eddie? Honestly, I thought it was good, so I, I pushed her into it, I guess. With our kids, I mean, as soon as they were born, they are on a horse, so mm. they don't, didn't know anything different mm. than riding. Did she always sing, or was she... Was there a period there where you went, woman? You can be honest. You know, I, I, can't, I really can't remember her not singing ever since she was a little kid. We'd be at home when she was three-year-old and she'd come walking in the lounge and sing out, here's Shay presenting Shay Fisher and started singing. We'd have to go short. And we still have to do that today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As Shay's father, how does it make you feel looking at her perform on stage in front of thousands of people? Steve, I'm proud of her. I see what she's doing, she loves doing, and she's put passion in it, and she enjoys it, and she's good at it. And um, just the sacrifices that she's gone through to do that, uh, it just makes me real proud and happy that she's achieved what she's been after. Thank you.
Dr. Gimpy, make sure you come say hi. It's been a while since he's been sober. Get ready in your most romantic voice. I guess beauty's in there. Here we go. Yeah, she's all tattooed. She's with Mate, main stage, Gimpy Muster going off. Mate, there's, uh, there's nothing like that feeling in the whole world, you know. It's, um, as I said in the car, you know, it'll take me a week to come down from that. It's just, mate, it's, it's an amazing thing. And when it, when it all comes together and it all works, you know yourself, you can't beat it. There's nothing in the world that beats it, so it was a good one. In there, right again. Beautiful thing. So this meant a lot to you to come back to the muster this year and make a great show. It's been eating away at me for 12 months or more. You know, when I when I left this gig uh, two years ago, I was just so devastated. I, I thought, how can I do that? You know. I've blown a great chance, you know, and, and then I've been waiting and dying. And when that, when we came in and, and, and my manager skips it, oh, they've booked you back at the muster. I thought, you beauty, baby. Yeah, yeah. I got him, got him training. Yeah, that proves beauty's in the big finale. Here we go. Yes. And that's why we love playing in Gimpy. What a beautiful... So it's pretty Australia. exciting times, mate. You've got a uh, new record label, new album coming out shortly. Feeling good? Yeah, I am, actually. I'm feeling really good. I, um, you know, as the title says, I'm doing all right and I am. Things are pretty good in the old Harvey household. And, uh, and I think the album, it, it kind of, it showcases that. You know, it's a really positive, up-tempo, you know, feel-good kind of an album. And that, that's where I'm at in my life. I'm, I'm behaving myself a bit more uh, than uh, I used to, a little bit. unfortunately, but um, no, I feel great and, and life's good, mate. Mate, so I guess you're going to keep coming back to the Harvey Muster. <laughs> the gift, the Gimpy Muster, yeah. But, uh, mate, I'll be back as long as they'll have me, you know, and I... Um, uh, I, I hope they, they want to have me back a few more times because I sure as hell want to come back. To get out and play in front of that many people, it's something that you, you don't, we don't get to do that every night, you know? And so it's a, it's a great gig and a great vibe and, mate, that high you get, that's, I want to come back. I wouldn't mind getting that a few more times, you know? Adam Harvey, appreciate you letting us roll hey, with you at the muster, mate. Cheers to you, Cheers. mate. Hey.